It's important to me that it looks as real as possible. How difficult would it be to, you know, use your platform to, you know, somebody has a laser scan or photogrammetry, and maybe it won't be fully interactive, but at least yeah. that they could be immersed and, and walk around and experience that scene. Is that something that would be fairly possible? Yeah, I think we've definitely, I think me and you have spoke about this before. Um, I see that as uh, sort of mid to late next year when we can have, after we've done the CSI sandbox, we're looking to have the ability within the river system to have the multiplayer features and the VR features available for ingesting of point cloud data. So from anyone's scanner, I can see a point when you can load that straight into the river investigate system and now navigate around it in VR, you know, with a controller, with another person, you can measure things and take photos. But like you say, it is never going to be unless you go and take 6,000 photos in a crime scene from every angle, it's never going to be a photorealistic uh, representation with interactive objects because you just haven't got the time to scan everything. But a laser scan would gives you amazing data. Yeah, so you move on to this, yeah. Yeah, so, I want to show people uh, what you know, something that you, you, you showed me here and the quality of what you can get. Yeah, cool. That's cool, yeah. So, like I just mentioned about crime scenes, there'll be a pre-built crime scene, one where you can't interact with objects. You can only interact with the objects that are relevant to the investigation. Uh, so there'll be about 20 objects you can interact with. But the rest of the scene, the, the clutter, if you like, in the scene, it's important to me that it looks as real as possible. So we've, we've realized that when you do scenes like this with baked in lighting, like you won't be able to change the lighting in this scene, it will be as it is, but they just look stunning. Like this, you can get down and put your nose into the dogs. Not that you'd want to, but you know, this, <laughs> this is a fully interactive VR crime scene that you can look under the sofa if you like. It's even got a nice, yeah. So this when we're working with, we're working with another partner at the moment that is allowing us to capture these scenes, and we're going to be doing something in the future. We're just um, working on that.